Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will look at few of the important questions related to Indian economy. I'm trying to go ahead and create uh, and uh, you know share with you as many questions related to Indian economy as possible. So let us have a look at the first question of the day. An economy is said to have its highest possible efficiency when unemployment level has been consistently maintained at zero. Now, we don't want unemployment level at zero. Even when unemployment level is at natural level of unemployment, we are fine. Efficiency does not mean that unemployment should be zero. So this is incorrect. Next. Equal income level has been reached for all economic agents. No, efficiency has got nothing to do with equality of income. So that option is also incorrect. Incorrect. Factors of production are allocated optimally in production of goods and services. Yes, when you allocate the factors of production optimally, when you put the resources optimally, that is when you achieve efficiency in the economy. So the third option is correct, All right? So answer three is correct. Okay, come to the next question, beta. The foreign exchange reserve of Reserve Bank of India include which of the following? Gold, foreign currency reserve, SDRs. So the answer to this question, beta, is that Foreign exchange reserves include all three of them. Reserves ke andar hi you have gold. Reserves ke andar hi you have foreign currency reserves. Reserves ke andar hi you have SDRs, right? So all three are included as part of foreign exchange reserves. I have a question for you. All of you will answer this question to me. What is the full form of SDR? I am leaving this up to you. Go ahead and answer this. What is the full form of SDR? Okay. Okay. Let us go to the next question. Consider the following statement related to generalized system of preferences adopted by US. Okay, it allows duty-free import of certain goods into U.S. economy in order to promote economic growth in poor and developing economies. So general system of preferences, this is something that you should know from your international economics. This is an important topic which comes exam in the and you must know about the general system of preferences so better the general system of preferences it comes in a lot of times in upsc exam also in net in cuet entrance exam it can come ma economics anywhere so this is basically a tariff system and this is not similar to uh, most favored nation is most favored nation mat samajna this is different from most favored nations this is one of the largest and oldest system that was developed by U.S. for trade, right? And it promotes economic development by eliminating duties. It eliminates duties, right? So it promotes economic development by eliminating duties. Charge na karke koi bhi duty, it is promoting economic development on thousands of products, right? So. Uh, so the answer to this question is that A is correct. It allows duty-free import of certain goods into the economy to uh, in the poor and developing economies. Achha. The product imported by US under GSP constitute major chunk of its promote. That is incorrect. Major chunk nahi. Kuch, kuch countries ke saath, kuch goods par aapko ye duty-free import allowed hota hai. Not on major chunk of import. Only on major chunk of reports. So this is incorrect. A is correct. B is incorrect. 
the gsp is considered to be exception to most favored nation principle yes this is what i was telling you it is different from most favored nation principle beta i am giving you second homework for the day you have to read about what is most favored nation principle you have to read about most favored nation principle so 1 and 3 are correct so the answer to this question will be c okay come to the next question consider the following statements about real estate investment trust okay so uh, so you know again let us go ahead and read all these three statements real estate investment trust are mutual fund like institution that enable investment mainly in completed and revenue generating real asset so the answer is that this is correct this is the definition of ri reits that they are mutual fund like institutions and the aim is to go ahead and generate revenue in the real estate assets so you correct it real estate investment trust are regulated by securities market regulator in india this is correct to so, secure jo india ki security market regulator hai wo hi inko in is trust ko manage karti hai that's correct a real estate investment <coughs> sorry investment trust can be launched as an initial public offer ipo that's also correct beta इसको आईपीओ की तरह लॉन्च किया जा सकता है सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज डी ऑल द अब ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट ओके नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट द हाइएस्ट शेयर टू रेवेन्यू टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वेरी ऑफन आस्ट फिजिकल फेडरलिज्म इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक चाहे आप यूजीसी नेट का एग्जाम दो Yeah, whether you give the exam of M Economics, U C U E D, or you give U P S C, fiscal federalism is a very very important topic and must be done thoroughly. So, one more time, we have fiscal federalism. Ke hisab se ye topic hai. Let's see. So, beta, which of the following gives the highest revenue to the central government? The answer to this will be corporate taxes. So, if you have studied my fiscal federalism chapter, then you would have understood that income tax is not completely under the central government it may be charged but it is shared with the state government hai na so we have to see the right option the right option to this will be a the answer to this is corporate tax i hope this is clear so okay we have discussed the first five questions for today